Von Fry, legendary badass, not shy, telling you how it is, Von Fry will die. Hey guys, sorry I got too busy yesterday and couldn't post a video. Beyond that, I had shot one and foolishly reformatted my memory card. So, uh, my review of The Walking Dead video game, not really coming along. Um, anyways, I want to share a little bit of data about the Higgs boson particle. Okay, so, um, this is my understanding of the situation. They discovered a new particle. They think it explains everything. These theoretical physicists have got a great scam going because they're smart and can manipulate people who aren't. They say, essentially, looking at the world like it is cars, okay? They say, oh, if we just discover everything we can about these nuts and bolts, then we can understand why highways were built. That's what this theoretical physicist bullshit's all about, okay? I thought that, um, now I looked at this on uh, Through the Wormhole. I like this program because it doesn't present everything as fact. It represents well put together arguments, uh, mostly uh, equally. Anyways, I think some of these guys have it right, but some of them are just, you know, looking to keep their cushy jobs is what they're doing. Uh, one of the guys whose name I can't pronounce, he, he's talking about, and he's from Denmark, that at the basic level of, uh, of the structure, it's more about the arrangement that defines the role of these particles and how they become atoms and different kinds of things like this. And I think that that's, uh, that sounds pretty good to me because I don't think that we want to uh, discover that with each new discovery, it just gets smaller and smaller and smaller. The reality for me, I believe, is that we don't have the tools to understand these kind of things. That's why when they come up with a model, it lasts for a while and then it's proved wrong. All these things, these physicists today, could be proved wrong a thousand years from now. So why bother committing resources to something that will likely be proved wrong later? That's my argument. You know, you can learn a lot from Back to the Future. Marty McFly didn't invent the time machine to reap the benefits of the time machine. That's what we have to consider here. We need somebody else to come along, like aliens, to tell us the meaning of life and the history of the universe. Because their tools may be better than ours.